we did a, an American Highwayman. Now we're going to talk about another British Highwayman. Because the United Kingdom has more action than the US. And that's a fact. Not really, but in the 1700s, the 18th century... In the 17th century, oh, they had a, a little bit of action. And even into the 1500s. Oh yes, they had some action. <clears throat> so this will be our second video today. And today we will be talking about Humphrey Naston. A.K.A. Also known as Wild Humphrey Naston. No one, the exact day he was born, no one knows. There's not much about him, so this will be another quick video, but yeah, what the heck. These videos are too fun to make, and I love everyone who watches them. And to everybody who watches me, I'd just like to let you know hey, it's 4th of July. It's the day our country was born. Although my mind tends to skip when thinking of uh, history, but yeah, other than that, uh, yeah, let's get uh, right into the video, shall we? And, uh, ooh, we got a ship here. It's a warship, it's a battleship, because I think airplanes are boring. And, yeah, July 11th will be the anniversary that, that, uh, Forest Ninja or Flyboy people know as uh, whose name is a uh, oh I shit uh, Jesus I can't think of a uh, holy shiitake mushrooms I cannot think of his name yeah now I sound like Robin from uh, the uh, the cool Batman TV show from the 60s, uh, Colton Harris Moore. July 11th was the anniversary he was caught in 2010. And this burglar historian remembers a bit from the 2000s when I was a kid. Oh yeah, blues history too. Yeah, St. Louis blues. You could ask me a player I remember and I could tell you his name. Or if I knew anything about him. Alright, so Humphrey Naston. He was a... English, yet another United Kingdom British English highwayman who operated in Shrewshire, Shrewshire, I don't know how to pronounce that area, the son of the High Sheriff of Shropshire. Yeah, sorry for those people in the United Kingdom if I'm pronouncing this wrongly. I, I have trouble pronouncing things. He was convicted of, well, well, I'm not surprised, murder in 1491, most outlaws are, depending. After being outlawed, he moved into a cave in the area and lived a lifestyle, lifestyle compared to Robin Hood. Today the cave is known as Nastin's Cave and is located at 5240... I, I don't know... Um, Jesus. Uh, coordinates very well and I suck at reading them. It has two rooms. He lived in one and stabled in the Bez Blizzlebub and the other. The cave also featured an iron door for an entrance. The iron door is said to later become the door for Shrewsbury Gaul. There is also an engraving in the cave which reads reads HK 1564 although this engraving is concluded to be made by Humphrey he was dead 30 years before the year 1564 however he did have a grandson Humphredus born in 1530 who may have left the inscription Humphrey was the youngest son of Sir Roger Naston, High Sheriff of Shropshire, thought to have killed Lord Audley at the Battle of Blore Heath, 
and Roger's second wife, Lady Elizabeth Grey, daughter of, hum of Henry Grey, second Earl of Tankerville. I'm probably pronouncing this all wrong. But, you know, uh, I have a terrible time pronouncing names, which I guess is fine. I don't know. Get out of the way. Shoot. Shoot. You're interrupting my warship building. Shoot. Get. 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 Go. Scram. Skedaddle. I don't need to add that here. Oh, Jesus. Why does this thing not sink? Magic. Magic, that's why. Humphrey was m raised in Middle Castle, which Roger had inherited from his first wife, Elizabeth. You know what? We're just going to stay in here. These ships take a while to build, and I have loads of it. Well, time specifically. He received his wild nickname from his outrageous lifestyle, which frequently got him into trouble with the law. Humphrey inherited middle castle from his father but allowed the estate to fall in dis into disrepair life of a highwayman on december 20th 1491 nastin was found oh, guilty for the murder of john hughes at shredton was that? Hmm. Anybody hear a loud boom? No? Uh, I must be going crazy then. But yeah, I heard a loud boom. He moved from Middle Castle to a cave in Nestle Cliff. Yeah, he moved from Middle Castle to a cave in Nestle Cliff Rock. Some sources claim that the reason he moved was due to the criminal charges, and others claimed, wow, this water view looks so amazing but ah what the heck and others claim some sources claim that the reason he moved was due to the criminal charges and others claim that he was outlawed due to debts huh. wow money I highly doubt that from 1491 to 1518 Nastin supposedly lived a life that would match the, the fictional character Robin Hood it seems he had a reputation re reputation for robbing from the rich and giving to the poor. In return, the locals protected him and gave him him and his horse Bill Blizzlebub. Yeah, I'm having fun. Food. I'm trying to pronounce these names. Blizzlebub. I guess that's his horse. Food. One time, in an attempt to capture Nastin, the local sheriff removed several planks from the Montfort Bridge to keep him from crossing the River Severn, but his horse managed to leap and safely clear the distance. It is also said that he was a regular patron at the old Three Pigeons Tavern at Nesclift in Shropshire, and his original seat is still there. He may have been pardoned by Henry V., V I I whatever that is in 1493, but some accounts state that in 1513 Humphrey provided a hundred men to aid Henry V III in France, and in return received a royal pardon three to five years later. Humphrey left a will dated on May 1st, 1534, and that will was proved on the January 26th of 1535, while the year of his death is well known, how he died and where, where, 
how he died and where are disputed. Some sources claim he lived comfortably in an estate near Welsh Pool until he died. Others claimed he died of illness in his cave. But uh, his body was uh, never found. And no one knows where he died? Well, no one knows where his body is, but uh, we will never know. But his cave can still be visited in the United Kingdom. And, uh, yeah, not much is known about him. But other than that... Yeah. That's it for today's video. There's not much... But yeah, other than that... Um... Yeah, happy, happy 4th of July, everyone. And... If I seem a little slow... And messing up a little bit of my words, that's because I feel tired. Tired today. Oh, I wish it wasn't true. But other than that, as one YouTuber said, we shall do this very soon again, my friends. And, um... Uh, let's go blues in October. I cannot wait for the start of the next NHL season. Yay! And, uh, yeah, happy 4th of July for right now. And let's go blues. And like I said, these things do take time to build. And talking and building is still a thing I'm trying to, uh, shall we say, perfect. But other than that, goodbye everyone, see you next Monday!